and we move on. Bristol and the T20 start. The, 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 the most boring question I keep asking, what's the situation with the skipper? Skipper's in the squad, which is good to have him um, coming up the straight. I'm not sure if he's going to play, but he's in the squad, so he's coming up to Bristol tomorrow and we can assess him and see where he is. Uh, and the T20 competition, it all starts on Friday. Has that a nice little buzz to that? Very exciting. You know, we've been ensconced by Red Bull for a long time, so it's nice to get the white ball out. And, and, and um, once again, we'll be choosing a very exciting team, so can't wait for it to start. And the players are very excited, so it's nice to have the players excited. And Gloucester, your first opponents? I mean, Gloucester, of course, did very well in limited over cricket last year. So, they're difficult opponents. I think they all are. You know, I think all the teams you play against, you've got to respect. You've got to obviously try and, try and beat them. And Gloucester have played well against us in that form of the game for the last couple of years. So uh, they're a very good team and we're going to have to go up there and be at the top of our game. And how difficult is it, Mark, now to switch from all, all the red ball cricket, suddenly you're into 2020 cricket? It's a different skill set, I guess. Totally different skill set, but it's a challenge of the, the county um, season. It's a challenge of how we play our different fixtures um, at county level. So it's fine, you know, everyone's in the same boat, so we've all got to adapt. And, and, and Friday's a tough one because you obviously come off a four-day game and you, you're straight into a T20 game, but after that we've got a week at home, so we'll practice our white ball skill, then go into a championship game again, and then into more white ball stuff after that. So all very exciting, I can't wait. Well done, Mark. Thank you.